Now I know you're probably <coughs> seeing the title of this video and asking yourself, how the hell is this guy gonna record an ASMR vlog with terrible audio from a compact vlogging camera, right? And I understand your concerns. The, the audio on these things are just not good, as you can tell from listening here. And I'm a bit of an audiophile, so it really makes a difference to me to have good audio, which is why we have one of these tasty little snacks right here. Are we doing some sleeping baby ASMR right now? <laughs> and now back to you. Dynamite input, Jackson. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> uh, all right, listen up. What's happening, Tomato Mafia? Uh, it's your boy, Leon Lush. Back here with a brand fresh, spanking hot new biscuit right out of the oven. Uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little razzed right now because... The past day I've been planning, or the past couple days, this was supposed to be a sponsored video. Holy shit. And I've been planning it, trying to figure out how to implement it, and as time went on, like, the sponsor kept reaching out and they wanted to tweak this or do that, and this they wanted me to do this thing where I was, like, pretending I was getting notified and I had to accept this challenge to play a game every time I got notified. It, just, it, was, it, was, it was this embellished kind of bullshit, in my opinion. So, I basically told them to see the exit, and now, we're just doing a regular old Leon Lush video without a sponsorship, but we're gonna have a fucking ball because guess what? It's vlogging ASMR, which allows us to do anything we want. Check this out, we can do sliding chair ASMR. We got snack time ASMR. This is gonna be fucking incredible. All right, guys, couple of things. First off is a follow-up to the whole sponsorship thing. Listen, making money is awesome. Sponsored videos have been great. It's been an absolute blessing that I've been able to do that. But I take very seriously the rapport and the trust I've built with you guys, with my audience. And any time like a sponsorship gets into the realm of being in, you know, disingenuous or me having to pretend I'm doing something I'm not, like that's, I will walk on that 10 times out of 10. Secondly, uh, doing this whole thing, this is the first time I used my Zoom H5 recorder and I fucked around with the settings, I thought I had it right, but clearly the internal limiter I was using was a little, the input gain was a little bit off and saw, you know, there's a good portion of the video that gets a little, you know, you can feel the limiter working, it's pumping, it's clamping down, there's a little bit of audio distortion, but the gist of what I wanted to get across uh, in the video is, is fine and there's a little a fun little music segment I think you might like a little bit. So we're it's just, let's get to the back shaving. Whew, it's humid out here. Oh my God. Now listen, I don't know a whole lot about... Let's hurry the fuck up. <laughs> I can't pretend to be an expert in relationships. One thing I do know is that if your wife is willing to do back shaving ASMR for your YouTube channel, you've really found yourself a real catch. Thank you. Yeah, you're doing an incredible job. Thank you so much. Now, some of you may be watching this thinking to yourself, Oh, back hair, that's gross, Leon. You're such a loser. Uh, I'm here to tell you you're dead wrong. Back hair is quite literally the defining characteristic of what it means to be an alpha male. Fantastic job, sweetie. You're doing wonderful. Listen, I realize ASMR vlogging is a bit impractical because, you know, it ties up both your hands and it really doesn't allow you to do a whole lot else when you're trying to get that high fidelity, crisp ass, full stereo audio. But honestly, if you're vlogging without high fidelity stereo audio, I mean, are you even vlogging at all? No, no, I don't think you are. Anyways, with the arrival of my son a week and a half ago, I've kind of let things go a little bit. I've gotten a little mangy and ragged, so I'm trying to clean that up because we got newborn photos tomorrow and I'm going to be in one of those, so, uh, I had to get my hair cut right now, seen a bit. So I just started going to this new barber who's using some controversial uh, techniques to cut hair. Uh, essentially what you do is you just concentrate really hard on the vine boom sound effect and then it, it cleans you right up, so. <laughs> <sighs> that actually, whew, 
That worked pretty well, man. I'm looking fresh to death like I choked on a peppermint. <laughs> you dig? So we missed a pretty legendary rainstorm while I was in uh, getting my hair cut. Uh, but I just got home and I, you know what, I was thinking, like, you know those viral videos that were around, like, years ago and people, like, took sounds from a car and made it into some beat or some shit. It was, like, huge on Facebook or something. Anyways, I thought we might try and just recreate that a little bit, see if we can get a little beat going. So I'm going to at least start with the door shutting. Hold on. Give it a little windshield wiper sound. What do you think? Nothing gets me riled up like the sound of a windshield wiper on a dry windshield. Oh, I feel like punching the tire is always good for a kick sound. So I got a couple sounds from the car in the puddle, uh, but I want to get just a few more inside here. And uh, fortunately, it's snack time again. All right, let's see what we can do with those. I'm going to head upstairs, open up Logic, throw those sounds into a sampler and uh, see what happens. But first... All right, guys, so the quick rundown, I brought the audio file into Logic and snipped out a few of the sounds, like the tire kick, the snack mix, the puddle, and the door slam. So for the kick, I brought the tire punch into battery and basically just pitched it down and added a little extra sub bass, so you go from to this. For the door slam snare, I didn't really pitch it at all. I just added some buttery plate reverb to, to bring it to life a little bit, so you go from this to this. I brought the snack crunch into arcade and I shortened the sample loop and I added a sequencer modifier so you get this. Then I just reversed the snare, tweaked a few other things and then just added a synth lead and uh, I have the perfect little ditty for my montage of walking into Old Navy. So I had to stop in the mall to get a plain white t-shirt. It's like a nice t-shirt because I got, we have newborn photos tomorrow and I'm going to be in a few of them and that was the photographer's recommendation. So, so here we are. You guys ready for a little Old Navy ASMR? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Mm, yeah, you hear that fabric rubbing up against that windscreen? Oh man, I feel a little bit rebellious rubbing up against clothes that aren't even mine. <laughs> Let me try this one. <laughs> so Operation Old Navy was an unmitigated success and I am currently headed back home with my $8 white t-shirt for tomorrow's photo shoot uh, for a little late night snack and possibly a gym session. I did, I'm probably not going to work out. I'm fat. Surprise, motherfucker. Now this is the best. My first time belonging to a 24 hour gym. It's 11 p.m. Got the whole place to my damn self. And uh, it allows me to do stupid ass shit like work out ASMR. <laughs> yeah, you wanna hear this weight get racked? I know you wanna hear this weight get racked, you sick fuck. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Listen to that pulley, that's beautiful. Hold on to your shorts. Amazing. You guys may not know this, but I'm on the undercard for the Logan and KSI fight, and uh, I've been training hard, man, because uh, I'm up against Eugenia Cooney, so I gotta make sure I'm in uh, the right weight class. This is in between set ASMR. <laughs> All right, I did one set of 10 reps, so that should do it for tonight. Let's get the uh, fuck out of here, shall we? I need some motherfucking 